Hi, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to solve this challenge I launched on Twitter yesterday, asking how to code this link hover effect without any extra elements or without duplicating the link text in a pseudo element. So um, let's see. Uh, we start with a section, uh, we give it a heading. So uh, we're going to have a dark theme and a light one, which we'll get to in a minute. Uh, then we're going to have a paragraph with some text and we're going to set a link on some of it. Okay, uh, we're going to get uh, the link, but first let's close the tag because it just burns my eyes to see so much blue in there. Okay, so um, let's put the link. Oh, look at it. It's so cute, so fluffy. Okay, and now let's also add an image and you're going to see why in a little bit. What's the purpose of this image? Um, let's, okay, now let's get uh, the image. Look at it. It's so fluffy. I just want to get my fingers in that fur. I mean, I'd probably get so scratched and, but uh, it would be worth it. Okay, now we're just going to take this and copy paste it and change dark into light. That's almost poetic. <laughs> okay, uh, so we're just going to set margin zero on everything, like sort of um, silly reset. Um, display flex. Okay, this should do it. Now on the section, uh, we're just going to set uh, the dark one first and then just uh, get to the other one. So um, set a color that contrasts enough. So something like this. Now um, go to the link and also give it a color. So let's say gold. Okay, now let's change the font to something prettier. So um, uh, you'll see why this uh, font style. Okay. Um, Okay, much better. Let's also give it a padding because it looks weird like this. So, um, 0.5 ms. Okay, this looks better. Uh, now, we're just going to set text decoration none. Good. Um, and we're going to create a before or an after. Doesn't really matter. Let's say after. It's shorter in terms of characters. Um, let's set position relative here. Um, position absolute here, uh, top zero, and then we go clockwise, right zero, bottom zero, left zero. I wish there was an offset property to just set all of them at once. Not set four properties, but oh well. Um, background, we're going to set it to current color. And this is going to uh, cover the whole thing, but we also set mix blend mode, difference. Okay, and now this is why I set the font style, because you can see uh, the end of the D is coming out. So we're just going to set some padding, but we can't set it on an inline element. So display inline block. And uh, now we can set that dem padding. Okay. Now this looks nicer. And then we're going to set, oh, sorry, uh, transform origin. We're going to set it at the bottom. I use zero, but it doesn't really matter. The first value can be anything. It doesn't matter in this particular case. So transform scale Y. I use zero because it's fewer characters than anything else. So this is going to be really small, let's say 0 0.05. Okay, and we have something that looks like an underline. And now on hover, uh, we're just going to set transform, sorry, none. Okay. Uh, okay, so you can see the change, but we want a nice transition. 
so transition uh, transform so we specify the property for better performance uh, 0.25 seconds and this should do it okay as you can see it works nicely now this is the dark theme let's move on to the light theme so we're just going to have nth child uh, 2 and you think we do something like this so a background we just right and then on the link we set color purple we want to have purple link but this doesn't look <laughs> we don't even have purple that's a sort of lime so to fix that lime thing we're going to set isolation isolate uh, so that uh, the link doesn't get mixed with anything behind it so it's just the pseudo getting mixed with the link layer and they don't get mixed with anything else but as you can see it's not what we want because we don't have light text we have that black which doesn't contrast well against purple and this is because of the way that mix blend mode difference works uh, when we have two layers that uh, we mix and we use difference if one of them is light then it inverts the other layer now in this case here we have this uh, really uh, light gold that inverts this whitish thing to something that's close to black but in this case both layers are dark so we have that dark purple and we have that uh, dark close to black text so difference doesn't work a black text um, a black layer in difference just leaves the other layer unchanged so that's a problem so this is not a solution this is not how we do it we don't just uh, change the background and the color what we do instead is set filter invert so we start with the same uh, dark theme and we just invert it invert one um, and of course we get rid of this okay so this seems to kind of work except the image is inverted as well so um, to fix that we invert the image as well so we invert both the section and the image and it looks nice now okay but we have that blue thing and we don't want that uh, we want a purple thing so let's say we're going to use some um, this so if we set purple we get a sort of lime there which is not what we want but if we set lime it's not quite purple but we want let's say we want exactly purple so what can we do so um, what I do is set a border bottom uh, solid 1m and the exact color I want to set so in this case it's going to be purple right and as you can see here it gets inverted now I'm just going to bring up DevTools okay bring up DevTools uh, take the color picker pick the color from here and I'm just going to use this color uh, to set here to get the exact purple I want for the link and as you can see it's right there and now I can just uh, get rid of this remove it completely if you want so yeah this is how I do it this is what I wanted to show you for today I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you want to support my work the work I've been putting out for the past eight years or so you can do so by being a cool cat and becoming a patron on patreon or you can get me something off my Amazon wish list. All of these things will be linked below. Or you can at least share this to show the world what can be done with CSS these days. Because honestly, I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching.